Alright guys, this is Sawyer doing another Legends review over on the Joker this time. We're doing Joker. Uh, I just unlocked Joker recently, mainly because I'm working towards the achievement for uh, they're getting the band back together, I believe is what it's called. You know, for getting the, all the original Legends characters. And he was the most expensive one. So I saved up for him first, because I like to do that. I like to get the most expensive one first and then work my way towards the next few. Alright. And let's go over his abilities. Joker, as you can see, is acrobatic, but he can also be flying if you switch him, which I'll get to that in a little bit. So he's acrobatic mainly. He's also a, uh, that's like a one-handed weapon style, using the crowbar, which is kind of cool because it's iconic to Joker, the crowbar, and the whole Jason Todd thing. Well, let's go over his abilities. Uh, he has... A joke? Can I bring that up? Can I bring it up on here? No. I don't think you can. I know there's a I know like when you're playing PvE or whatever there's a way to bring up the the character's abilities when the names are, but I don't think you can do it on here. Alright. So his first ability is this ground smash thing, very similar to what Batman has, where he hits multiple people and hurts them. And does and pushes them back a little bit, which is pretty cool. His next ability is kinda weird, but it's a uh, thing where he turns himself he traps himself in a present. And I think he heals over time, but you get to be hurt to see the healing. But I think he heals over time, and also, I think this gas can stun people. It's basically a way to protect himself when he's being attacked by multiple people. I can see it being useful if you're almost dead and there's multiple people attacking you, and you have allies helping you. It, they, you know, they, it might give your allies a chance to take the people down before you die. I mean, but other than that, it's really not doesn't seem that great. His next ability is his circle is an O ability where he basically hits you with his crowbar and stuns multiple people. So as you can see, it, stun, it stuns multiple people and it hit, does a little bit of damage. His next ability is actually really cool. It's a uh, summon ability where he gets to summon his little a group of clown people, his little bugs, and they go around, they hit people, knock people off balance, tag them, so and they'll last for a pretty good while. That's actually pretty cool. They last for a pretty good while. Alright, his next ability is basically this thing where he hits you and he jumps away. As you can see, he kicks you and jumps off. It's pretty good if you need, if you need to get a little bit of damage in and also clear some distance, you know, get away from the enemy. And then his last ability is not really an ability as so much as it's like switching his skill sets. It's where you turn into the, it's where you switch your movement type to flying, as you can see here, which is, which I like, it's much better than acrobatics. And then you start you start using a dual pistols and instead of the crowbar or the one handed weapon. And now you have dual pistol combos. So yeah, there's Joker base you know, there's Joker. He's let's see, what, what do I my, I don't know how I feel about Joker. I haven't actually fought with him yet. He seems okay, I guess. Um he doesn't really have nothing too like interesting or too different besides the present thing, which is doesn't really sell me on him. I mean, yeah, it's it's different. I mean, but it's not that great. Uh, I think I would really like the I think I like the dual pistols set up better. I think I'd much better do this, fight like this, than fight like you know that. I'm not really that big on uh, melee weapon styles that much. But yeah, yeah, I think the best thing he probably has going for him is his his thing, his way to summon his goons, because I think that's a really cool ability and it does a seems like it's incredibly useful. Um, other than that, I don't think he really brings too much to the table that is that great. But he is fun to play with. I mean, it's the Joker. Who wouldn't have fun playing the Joker? And look at that smile. Look at that smile. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.